In the category of computer science from Ontario, Canada, Nicholas Benjamin Schieffer. That that's our friend Nicholas Schieffer, 17-year-old who won the Intel. Uh, Foundation Young Scientist Award, and he is here to talk about it with us. Nicholas, how you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? All right. So explain to us, what was that video that we saw, and what is it that you did? Uh, so that video, I think, was a part of the awards ceremony um, where I won my Young Scientist Award. Um, and I won it for my research in an area of computer science called information retrieval, which deals with search engines. Um, and I focused on search for things like Twitter tweets and Facebook status updates, really short documents. Um, and that's really hard because when you have short documents, you don't have a lot of words and therefore you don't have a lot of keywords that you can search for. Um, and so the crux of my text technique was to try and identify statistical relationships between words and use those to get better search results for things like tweets. And what was sort of the holy grail moment? What, what, was, the tr what was it that you discovered that helped you crack the code in, in making the search easier for on Facebook and Twitter? So the, I guess the... The, uh, the key piece of the technique that I developed, the algorithm that I developed, um, was a, something called a Markov chain. Um, and a Markov chain is basically this random process where you move from, a certain, from one state to another state, dependent only on where you are now, not where you were in the past. Um, and the idea, and basic idea of what I was trying to do was to try and create um, a big network of all these different ideas I might have of potential relationships between words, and then follow those relationships to try and find new relationships. How does a 17-year-old know about Markov chain? Uh, I did a lot of self-study. Um, I'd done some study of math for things like math contests and certainly at school. Um, but mostly it was just a lot of reading um, out of interest once I decided that I wanted to try and translate an idea I had about using relationships for, to improve search, um, try and make that real. <laughs> How long have you been interested in computer coding and, and uh, searching and doing things like that? Uh, probably as long as I can remember. Um, I've always had an interest in computers, and then when I first used Google when I was six or seven years old, I thought it was magical because I just finished the Harry Potter books. Uh, <laughs> I guess that, that stayed with me, so I've had a long-standing interest in search. And I also I think search is really cool because it's probably the most visible part of artificial intelligence in our daily lives. Because what the computer is doing to try and take your simple possibly poorly phrased query and trying to and try and understand what it is that you're searching for is a form of artificial intelligence. Where, real quickly, where do you go from here? What's your next step? Um, my next step uh, is not entirely clear. Um, from here, if I to continue the project, I would probably go and work on implementing it, making it faster, uh, maybe smoothing out a few kinks um, to make it more practical. Well, we have to wish you luck on that. We, I'm sorry we had to cut it short, but congratulations, Nicholas. Good luck in the future, and uh, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing more of you in, in the future.